What's going on, guys? We have a beautiful remote code execution bug in Node.js. Well, correction, it's in one Node.js package. I guess you can call it a Node.js bug because it's a package, right? And it's called changelog library. So in this video, I want to go through the bug. I'm going to show you the actual code because it's an open source code. So I'm going to show the code and how does it happen and uh, all that jazz. It's a very interesting, uh, it's going to be an interesting video, guys. So stay tuned. So turns out yesterday, July 20th, 2020, uh, the GitHub security team found a remote code execution bug. And if you're not familiar, an RCE bug is basically when you allow the user to input some arbitrary string and that string goes into your libraries and packages and end up into a place where it shouldn't end up and the system accidentally tries to execute that string as an actual code so it end up in this case particular case bash script right so like rm-rf dot that's a bash script and you can run it and if you're running node.js as root tough luck man all right so that's a remote execution bug right and uh, it's uh, this is the article i'm going to reference it below it goes into the node.js it goes into it's uh, this this package change log it's being used by 20,000 project and and it is basically the change control for your application i never used it but from what reading it allows you to version your code to swap releases to say okay this code is release 1 this is release 1.1 1.2 so obviously it's a very popular feature right and uh, here's the thing guys this is this is the package right standard version i don't know for you if you're using it just just be aware i believe even if you're using it you're still in the clear unless you're using that particular property that we're going to talk about that causes the remote execution code and uh, what this code, uh, what this uh, version uh, application does, it just allows you to version your code. So it's like, okay, hey, uh, this is version one, release one, and uh, some comments. And this is the part where it gets interesting, right? So you can just install this and start using it, and you can you can version your code, right? And here's here's how it uh, you can. Uh, this is the security vulnerability report. That goes in the, is the version and everything, right? And here's how you can use it. This particular property is what causes the the uh, the injection attack. And essentially, what this property does is allow you to add messages to the release that you just stacked, just like exactly like git tag this is the exactly think of it like exactly like git tag dash m so dash m allows you to add basically the the tagging message right so whatever you put in this text is gonna go into dash m into this that's what it is right and as a result what those smart people and github did it's like okay let's let's inject a string with double tick mark like that and add a bash script so they added blah but they added tick mark and then they this is an actual touch touches a batch command right where you can you can create a file this is just to prove the concept but you might as well just do rm dash rf right dot that just kills everything in your uh, current directory and then when they run this node.js test.js, that exploit file was created as a result of running this code. <laughs> so pr pretty bad, right, guys? So that's essentially what this bug is. And if you're using standard version and if you're utilizing the release commit message, right, and you somehow have this string fed by some other unsanitized input from the user, then you need to worry. If you don't have these three, 
I wouldn't call this a high security. I think it's labeled as high, but I wouldn't call it high to be honest. So what happened, guys? What happened? Let me move myself a little bit here. This is this is what happened, right? Git tag, it just tagged the current branch or release with that message that you put on. But look at the code here. I'm gonna go to the code actually now, right? Oh, I can move myself back up. Look at the code, guys. This is the code. I went back to the issue where they introduced release commit message format and look at the code, it's so beautiful. So basically what the code does is it technically runs the git command with a commit and that's actually there are two places when you commit you can pass a dash m and you they pass in that format commit message with the release message the whatever the string that we have they pass it in and apparently the run execute command however they executed interpreted this as two commands the git and when we added the tick that executed a completely another command, right? So if you had another command in this case, right, git touch or, or bash or rm, that will essentially execute it because look at that, this is just executing a command, right? Command prompt, git commit. And uh, it's very interesting. We have two places where this is executed, right? Git tag and, and uh, git uh, execute, uh, git commit. So yeah, very interesting guys, isn't it? So that's a, that's the basically the video just talking about that vulnerability. But I want you to also think about the places. I, I I definitely have run into places where I ask the user to take an input and I shove it down some 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 sort of execution engine without sanitizing, right? And because you can't possibly as a backend engineer think of all these possible scenarios. You need to be really well trained and versed by all these attacks right so i hope this guys just gives you like a flavor of what things that we need to deal with as backend engineers as security engineers in general and, and it's, it's a very interesting bug uh again i don't think it's a big deal i don't think it's a it's a it's a huge security risk i don't believe it was fixed to be honest yet as far as we speaking here right looking at this security uh secure there is a there there is a thing here the security policy so just a security policy what is that mm. there is a flag but i don't think it's it, it was just reported yesterday i believe and i jumped into the reporting immediately right after i learned about it so very 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 interesting bug and uh 20 000 project you uses this and you would if, if we look at the how when was this feature added let's be honest it was added may 2019 how many people started using this release commit message format since then that date of of those 20,000 projects very few and of those few that uses those uh, property i believe uh, i believe very few will add some sort of a arbitrary input for the user to actually uh, execute uh, to actually just pass in whatever the user inputs like when i say user here i mean a client to the uh, node.js and it could be express application could be from the user itself could be from normal things so it is really really hard to to execute this remote uh, code uh, uh, vulnerability i believe right especially because we don't we don't get allow the user to enter their own message right uh, especially when you create a version that's a that's a significant release right that's a significant task creating a release or creating a version it's a big thing we cannot just create a version out of the crowd you don't let the users do that right so i uh, again it's a it's a good find and uh will allow us will uh will definitely allow us to pay attention to our code, right? I'm not talking about change log here, code that we write as backend engineers to kind of take just just uh, let us sink, man. This is this is big stuff, man. This is cool stuff. So yeah, I don't I don't think it's a big. I think it's it's a low at best, meh, medium at best, 
but definitely not high. All right, guys, what do you think about this bug? Uh, do you think it's high? Really risky? Did, did, did I miss something where people can actually uh, take exploit, they exploit this uh, at a remote code execution bug to execute bad stuff? Or no, it could be like low or medium to you. Let me know in the comment section below. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. You guys stay awesome. Check out the other content in this channel. I don't only talk about backend news. I talk about everything backend uh, engineering and security, stuff like that. Stuff that particularly interests me. Check out this content in the channel. So much stuff. <laughs> see you in the next one. Goodbye.